Mark Zells here. I uh, first would like to thank everyone who subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate that. Uh, we have just over a thousand subscribers so far. It's a, it's a lot for me, so I appreciate that uh, and for watching the videos. Uh, in the last video I did uh, that was instructional in nature, it was uh, I think it was July 17th and I did a little blog on it too and it explained uh, breathing and since then I've had some uh, People ask me about the complete yoga breath and exactly what that was and how to do it and if they're doing it right. So in this video, I'd like to explain that. Uh, first, I'd like to touch on a few things. When we're playing from low to high or just trying to play high, a lot of trumpet players run into trouble when they constrict their throat. And um, the way to do that is to keep the throat open and if any um, compression or uh, changes that we need to make from low to high probably should take place more in the mouth and the tongue area And I'm, I'm going to explain what that means and what it looks like and all that in this uh, video here So the way I would practice this uh, complete yoga breath and use the trumpet with it would be like this I would play a low C and hold it out as about 20 seconds as soft as I can as soft as I possibly can So I would take this big breath and then hold it out as soft as I can. That would allow me to gain some control over the note and hopefully help it feel more natural over time. So the first time I'm going to do it, I'm going to take a big breath and uh, it's not going to be so natural and then the second time I do it, it's going to be more natural. <sighs> I took in more air than I needed just to play a low C. So I'm going to take in about 75% of that, uh, roughly. I can't tell you exactly, uh, but I'm going to take in, a, try to take in about a quarter less air, uh, so it feels so I'm not holding it so much air in there because it can make it dizzy and hard to concentrate. <sighs> trying to play as soft as I can and and it's actually pretty hard to do and it, that would help me gain control it also helps the aperture feel like it's in the right spot uh, now if you'll notice I'm going to demonstrate playing from low to high soft there's not going to be a ton of change that takes place I'm also not going to be pivoting <laughs> pivoting I'm keeping it straight out uh, I used to do a lot of pivoting and then once I started practicing in this manner uh, trying to be more relaxed taking in this deep breath and playing as soft as I could and then and then going from low to high it became easier the pivoting eventually went away I feel like there's an advantage to that uh, some people still pivot around and it works great for them and that's no problem you know it just for me uh, I, it works better if I don't pivot. The less movement, the better for me, because uh, you have access to everything more easy. Well, this is a basic explanation and demonstration of the yoga breath, and if um, you would like some more instruction or uh, feel like you want a private lesson, just contact me through the website and or email me, and it'll set something up. And again, what I'm striving for on this is overall else steady air remaining relaxed and having as little change as I can from low to high <laughs>
to, I'm trying to stay in the same relaxed way um, when I play low as when I play high. The difference is my stomach is tightening up a little bit and I'm pushing the air faster, um, of course. What I'm not doing is I'm not changing the throat at all. I'm trying to keep this as, as open as I can. I know it's changing a little bit. I'm keeping it as, it as open as I possibly can. And then the tongue the, in the back is going up or down depending on if I'm playing low or high. And the change the tongue is taking place uh, is very minimal. So most of this uh, change in uh, upper register to lower register or, upper, or lower register to upper register is, is happening from air speed and the aperture. So the aperture is changing a little bit, it's getting a little bit smaller and the air is pushing through it quicker. Um, now when I used to do this, I, I would, um, when I used to play high, I would really think I had to overdo it and use much more force than I needed and it, it doesn't take that much. It's, uh, the difference between the two is, is not as great as I used to think and, and uh, it, not as great as it feels. It's, a, it's really very little difference now and it's the, the, the less difference there is between the upper register and the lower register the easier it is to do. difference um, there is between the upper and the lower the easier it is to do and I'm trying to simulate this the entire time I'm playing I'm trying to feel I'm trying to have everything feel like this <laughs> this video and I appreciate it and uh, feel free to contact me if you have questions or uh, want to set up a lesson. Thanks again.